Hello learners today we discuss about the topic of UAV network I am Pravesh Kumar here is my Gmail ID now we discuss upon UAV network in the IoT how UAV network is responsible for in the network topology we discuss in brief so first we discuss about the what is the features of UAV UAV is if topology of mess or star in next we next after means we discuss about mess or star network topology now routing protocol should be adaptive in nature in the UAV it should be multitasking hey, like surveillance and mapping we use the UAV network in the UAV network we have used the mainly drones and quadcopters and other, or other flying things we have the in the UAV network it in the UAV it's aerial surveillance so it it covers the large coverage area and it easily reconfigurable for various varying missions so it should be used to in the surveillance and we use in the our in a border of a nation of and state and a city to mapping the surveillance now what is the key issue of UAV if we have to use to surveillance through the drones and copter what is the issue we have to face upon in the UAV network then it should what is the first one is the it frequently change in network topology is the mainly problem in the UAV network then in the the drones and quadrot cover is frequently changing their relative position so it should be configured and communicate with each other is the very second one the key issue then is the male function of UAV if we have to use the drones then then it is quite possible that they have a hardware failure and there is an other software and problem that they have to disrupt the communication between the other drone to station then intermediate link nature and if we, if we don't use the suitable routing algorithm is the one of the main key issue of UAV network now we use so UAV network constraints there is constraints to in the UAV network there, there are frequent link breakage and prone to malfunction is the second one we already discussed and for the UAV there is lots of aerial support to surveillance so there is huge power requirements to flying and sending communication to each other so huge power communication is required meant for the UAV network and they have they have changed their relative position each and every syntax so it is possible that, that they are very complex to design and Q, 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 because we have to to design in disruptive manner and physically prone to environmental effect there is a environment fact that it should be through the surveillance and there is wind and rain and, and any other disaster that they have to face we also use the uav network in the disaster man management to 
predict uh, predict how how much go how much it effect to particular cover area and we can predict that through the uav network and the after the disaster we used to uh, use this test network now now we this there is a two topology we use in the star and mesh topology here is the star topology it is two types of star and multi star in this there are two um, diagram that if there is a one station and the TV, the uv connected to a point to point communication to communicate with the station in but there is there is another one the multi star in the multi star the a uv is connected then through the uav there another uav like drone or to drone connected to the particular uav and there is a uav c and uav d connected to uav 2 this is a multi star star now another is mesh topology how is mesh topology mesh we know that mesh topology is more reliable it could figure out yeah uh, reliability better reliability to us there is two type flat mesh and hierarchical mesh the first diagram is here is the flat mesh and the second is the hierarchical mesh in the flat mesh each and every uav is connected to each other and a one of the drone is connected to the station and the in that the hierarchical there is same manner, same manner like that one that mesh network is connected to one of the mesh network and they, it, is, it is connected to the station in the star topology here the we connected there is two star topology here two star topology there is two connected and there is one star topology we discuss about now what are the uav network advantages so when we know that we use in the uav network to surveillance surveillance or in that in the disaster management control and it give us a very high reliability high surveillability because we surveillance in through the aerial so it give us a better pictures and effective of survivability there is single malfunction approach and cost effective and it efficient and it it boost our uh, disaster and surveillance mission to a very good direction so now thank you for listening and watching this video please more subscribe this video to get more efficient lecture of iot theory topics now thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel